Okay, it's up. Let me make sure Nightbot's in the chat first. Thing. Okay. Okay. Good. All right, so it's been three weeks since I last streamed. Uh, I was holding off because I was hoping to get some stuff done at the doctor to for my neck. Uh, since then, pain in my neck and my arm has reduced a bit. Um, finally, numbness is still there. The pain is still there if I move it too much or if I move it in the wrong way. And over the course of the day, it'll also get gradually worse. But I'm currently on some muscle relaxer again, and I've been taking a shitload of ibuprofen. Uh, so I've actually had to keep track of the um, the times I've been taking my meds uh, so I don't go over the limit of ibuprofen you can have in 24 hours and the amount of the muscle relaxer I can have every six hours. And I did just take one of the muscle relaxers right before starting the stream. So within an hour it should start kicking in. Yeah, it should help a little bit. If the pain's there too much, I may end up taking some ibuprofen while I'm streaming. Because the last time I took ibuprofen was uh, 3.11 p.m. yesterday, and the time before that it was 4.56 a.m. yesterday. And I've been taking three pills at a time. The max dose for it is six. Um, so I have three possible pills I can take until 3.11 p.m. today. I am currently waiting for, and I'll actually start the game here in a sec. I just want to explain a few things since streams keep getting interrupted by shit and I'm getting kind of tired of having to skip them. Uh, so, uh, the, uh, the last doctor visit I went to, uh, they ordered an MRI after... I eventually finally got a different doctor because the doctor I had was a fucking condescending prick. I hated him. He's just a piece of shit. Um, and the new doctor I have seems nice. He seems objective. Uh, he He's not condescending. He actually listened to what I say. Uh, he actually did his job and he looked at my medical history and he was asking me a bunch of questions to try and get to the more information for his own personal notes. And uh, he did schedule MRI and he said if that doesn't get information he needs because he's not actually sure what's wrong with my neck. He says it could be uh, a pinched nerve or it could be a muscle spasm, but he says he also seems signs of having had a stroke. So he's not sure what the hell is going on really because he's seeing three potential causes to the pain in my arm my neck, the weakness in my right arm, and the numbness in my right arm and hand. So, uh, I gotta wait for insurance to approve the MRI. Uh, apparently that can take up to 14 days. It's fucking retarded. And so far it's been a week since then. So, still got about a week left before it gets approved. And I get a schedule or actually going in to get the MRI done before finally going back into the doctor and figuring out what I got to do next. And and hopefully after that I'll be able to finally get my goddamn neck taken care of. Get the pain, weakness, and the numbness just removed as an issue. So I can get some stuff done and won't have to have issues with it on stream. Or having me skip skip streams uh, but since my neck is doing a little bit better now than it was when I last streamed it means I won't need to lay back with my pillow I won't need to use that damn heating pad a heating pad barely did anything if it even worked at all I'm not sure I do know ice makes pain a hell of a lot worse so I don't use ice and as you can tell by the pillows behind me right there 
in the corner, sitting kind of up an angle a little bit. I have still been sleeping, sitting up at a weird angle a little bit just to relax my neck a little bit more because that's the least amount of pain I can get. But that is really damn hard to do because it's uncomfortable as fuck. I can't sleep on my side yet. So I'm also a little bit tired today. Uh, my sleep's going to take a a while before it's normal, normal for me at least, because I keep having 24 to 25 hour sleep cycles because the pain in my neck and how I'm uncomfortable and stuff keep just keeping me awake and it's just freaking bullshit. So with all that covered, finally, let's, uh, first, how much time I just wasted. Okay, so I just wasted six minutes explaining some stuff, whatever. So let's go ahead and start the stream. Where's the game? There it is. Keep forgetting I have these organized. Make sure my computer's not too loud once this starts up. Oh, yeah, I forgot this game has crazy ass, uh, Frame latency issues with OBS. Only with OBS. When OBS isn't open, it doesn't have an issue. It's it's fine. Like, that would be pretty flat there. At the low rated 1.9 to 2 point whatever milliseconds. The low point area. It keeps fluctuating down to. Before jumping up to the crazy ass 15, 16 area. Uh, so let's load game. And apparently I was wrong about that. I think I mentioned that last time too. So yeah, you do have multiple save slots. Uh, let's go and go to this one. It says 13% completion. I'm hoping they don't do the stupid uh, difficulty increase the first game did. Because I wasn't able to ever beat that first game. You and I will travel a ways together. Probably gonna get a little screwed up on the controls a little bit. I know. Because you I was playing Kim he, da, uh, Kingdoms of Amala Reckoning. My place. I only did that one day. Uh, then I was playing some Batman Arkham City. I went through that entire game again. Then I've been playing Borderlands 2. Uh, so Borderlands 2 actually... I managed to break that new DLC they released. Get out of it bounds. Kind of funny. Got a bunch now, of screenshots of that score. on Twitter. Each with its own nuance and delicate approach. Okay, so I got to do that stuff. So let's see. I gotta be careful not to move my head in a weird way because if I keep my head as stiff and straight as possible, it seems to help reduce the pain for an extended period of time. I'm messing with my lip. Give me a sec. God damn it. That's better. A little hair mustache was bent in a retarded way and was rubbing against my lip there. But yeah, uh, I gotta make sure I don't tilt my head and try and keep it uh, straight so I don't want to turn it either. Uh, tilting does worse than turning, so I can still do a little turning. I just have to be careful. I just want to mostly try and keep it straight, because that really helped yesterday. Because uh, normally I I try and tilt it to avoid the, the right pain, because that sort of helps. So but it, it gradually gets worse when I do that, it seems. and uh, It's just annoying to try and keep my head straight, because I don't like keeping my head straight and stiff. I, I don't usually do that when my neck isn't messed up. Uh, just, I don't know, it's uncomfortable to do that. But I have to do that now. Uh, the problem is doing or not, uh, keeping my head straight and stiff is a little bit annoying to do. Just as my life fighter, range magic. All mages are my children. This one, however, I would um, yeah, uh, so it's annoying to keep my head straight and stiff because it then 
sort of screws with my neck a little bit in a different way. It's like, oh, neck feels stiff and makes me want to pop it more. And certainly I also got to make sure I don't pop my neck. I just want to be sure. I don't think popping your neck actually hurts anything. I know popping your knuckles, like in your fingers and your elbows and stuff, like I usually do. I know that doesn't cause any damage. It doesn't hurt anything. Um, I don't know about your neck, though. And even if it doesn't in your neck, it's probably a good idea to avoid that. Uh, while my neck is messed up. So I gotta try and avoid that. The problem is uh, OCD-ish stuff uh, plays a part in why I actually pop my knuckles. A uh, little part. The other part I can actually sort of feel when something needs to be popped. Uh, that's why I tend to pop my elbows so many damn times. I can feel like the muscles and tendons in the area getting stiff until I pop them. And when I pop them it, it releases that tension. And it stops bugging me, but when I don't pop my neck, then it's like it builds up and that, that feeling just annoys the hell out of me. It makes me want to pop my neck. But since my neck is fucked up, I gotta try and not pop it. And, uh, it also seems like it adds to the pain if I don't pop it a little bit. So popping it brings a little bit of relief, but I gotta see if not popping it helps because I'm sure depending on what's actually going on with my neck uh, it might help to not uh, do anything so these are unknown they're all new it's still got a token what is this again elder oh that's a new one so it's unknown no is there anything that is known? Try and gain life, max life. Dice. I'll add the shrine. Is there anything else? Okay. Blessed. That's chain or gain food, not chain food, dumbass. Gain food. Reveal map. Uh, gain food. I gotta add some of these new ones. So I should add Elder's Gift. Oh, I can only add one platinum. Never mind. And let me remove that and add the Elder's Gift. So I can figure out what the Elder's Gift is. And... Cartographer. That might do a map reveal thing, I'm guessing. So let's go ahead and add that. I'm not sure exactly what it does. Gnomish exchange. Ain't not bright. Yeah, it's also probably in the next few hours you might well next hour or two, not a few hours. Next hour or two you might start hearing some yelling in the background, I'm not sure. It just kinda depends on if my nieces are being brats again today. Lose life, companion KO, heal all gain fame. This is a burning building. Uh, since companion K, I I guess it's good to take that early in the game instead of much later. It's early on in the game, it's obviously going to be easier than later. Lose food, lose gold, dice, chance cards, token. Oh yeah, the market thief thing. That one, if I remember right, you have to get the... Uh, the super success or whatever the fuck it is. I don't remember what it's called. King Gold. Oh yeah, the arm wrestling one was stupid. I haven't finished it yet. So, Shard. Uh, Winter Solstice. Funny, I'm seeing shit on Twitter about Summer Solstice. Weird little coincidence there. Uh, let's see. What are about the ones I do know? These ones don't give any shard. I don't really care to add them until I run out of shards. Um, add that for the blessing. I 
Bright, Gnomish Exchange, Sparkle of Fishing, Unrest and Iron Peak, Maclips or Malaclips, not Maclips, Malac. Oh, yeah, add that. Malaclips problem. Watchtower. Should I add the Watchtower for the Shard as well? Unrest and Iron Peak. Let's do the. Uh, That was a weird thing on the corner. Let's just add that. Never mind. It requires the different follower. I don't care to add that other follower. So let's do... Oh, uh, this also has a thing. Okay. So what has a thing on the corner, it requires a specific follower. I need the follower I've got in order to have this one. And I need the other follower for this one. Okay. Now let's do the hmm. screw. It. Let's do fishing because that might get me food. Continue. Interesting. Rockwave, armor breaker, heavy. Couldn't add that. I haven't used a, a platinum weapon yet. But yeah, ruby ring, blessed life, and no ring of food. I'm guessing that'll give me food. Extinguisher, Dark Groove. Let's do Ring of Food. Frontier Bar. Or Barbit? Barbute? I don't know. A helmet. I think it's the only helmet I have, right? Yeah, it's the only helmet I have, so I'll add the helmet. IS Robes, Berserker's Creed. Armor of Gluttony. Unknown. I'm guessing that'll make you run through food a lot faster. Given the name. Knockdown Northerner. Ripose Charge. Unhanded. Um. Eight Blades Armor Breaker. Let's add the armor and the shield first. So this is Got a token. Just got a shard. Uh, let's add the um screw it, let's add that. Then choose a shield. Reflex shield. That's got ten, that's fifteen. Eat less, huh? Berserker's Creed, Pious Robes, which one should I add? Screw it, let's add Pious Robes. And for the shield... Okay, I have two more slots. I can add a weapon. Good idea to add a one-handed weapon since I added a shield. Uh, eight Blades, I'm not sure what that does. It's a one-handed and it does Armor Breaker, so let's do Cardinal Blade. And how many? I have two armor. I have one shield down there. Let's add one more ring. So extinguisher or dark groove, or I could add ruby because that does blessed life. I think that just increases max health. I don't remember. Max health hasn't really been all that useful so far. Because you have to heal up to it. So let's use what extinguisher? Sounds like it might be useful. And supplies. Interesting. So I could start with a weapon, or I could start with more food. Damage area, repose counterattacks, one-handed, critical, repose one-handed, critical armor breaker heavy. Uh, let's, uh, the food kept getting low last time. Let's start with the food. Okay. 
start. These foes I place before you, these rules, I do not know truly if they will train you for the challenges that Callus will place in your way. Of course, we know time how this part so far. the story ends. The Emperor is merely the face on the throne. Behind 20 minutes him, just to just to start the damn the game. Oh, whoops, I didn't read that. The throne of life and death has a great influence upon the world. Okay. Their very soul I guess I'll wait for him to shut up. And fills the hearts of the people. Okay. It's about a crowd of travelers weighed down with weapons and tools lingering nearby. The Empire is offering a reward just to set off on the expedition. Even more if we make it back. That's how desperate they have or they are for help. Healer adds a gold counter to the map. Even a gold counter. The Empire okay, I got more gold. Much, Is that the gold counter? The end, they take everything. On arriving at the gates of the royal palace, an armed escort. There should be a comma after palace. An armed escort leads you directly to the emperor's chambers. The emperor remains still and silent as his chief council lays out the expedition. Okay, a few relics from the last age still endure in this world. We had one in this very room until last night. Gestures to an empty pedestal. Not only must you reclaim the stolen symbol of our power, we ask that you gather its three sibling relics. Explain that you're ready to go. Ask who stole the artifact. Keep forgetting, I think this is a British made game. This is the spelling. Uh, American spells artifact with an I, not an E. I think British uses the E. Gonna try and not screw with my neck too much because the mic I've noticed last time I used my mic, I was doing something weird with my neck just without noticing it and it was making my neck a lot worse. The evidence, uh, bleh. the evidence suggests a thief. They seized on a weak spot in our guard's schedule. There are many treasures in the palace. It is curious that this is all they stole. A few relics from the last age still endure in this... Oh, wait, what? Still endure in this world. That seems like they already said that line. Why'd they repeat it? We had one in this very room until last night. Just as an empty pedestal. What the hell? Oh, wait, duh. It went back for... Her. I forgot I had a selection. Examine the pedestal. An ornate pillow sits atop a stone pillar in the dust you make out the shape of a jagged blade. It was a ceremonial sword. It sat for decades under our protection. We're not protecting it, you understand. We're protecting those who would try to possess it. The blade is cursed. Its venom strikes both wielder and foe in equal measure. Also, that... The dash you've seen there on the last time I read that that had a dash and this one where it has the dash that shouldn't actually be a dash this, uh, or hyphen if you want to call it a hyphen but that shouldn't be that it, it should be a uh, a colon so the double dot because you're defining that information so uh, the, the information you're defining with uh, it's Venom Strikes, both wielder and foe in equal measure. Uh, that is the definition for the blade is cursed. So you're, you're defining how the blade is cursed. Was I too bold? Uh, too so... egotistic? Certainly. Yet uh, I would wait for never him to shut have up. wrestled the secrets of the elements from the Lords of Beyond were I not. So yeah, uh, the, the colon is used to define information that came before with the information that comes after. A uh, semicolon is used f for uh, kind of expanding on or elaborating information that came before uh, with what comes after. Like if what comes after is an incomplete sentence and it's related or and if not in whatever. Uh, if, if the information that comes after the semicolon is like elaborating and it, it's expanding. 
related, if it's elaborating and if it's related to information that came before the semicolon, then uh, it's a semicolon, or the information that came before it, whatever, then it's a semicolon. So, semicolon, elaboration related to previous, before, semicolon, colon, defining what came before, colon. Not a dash, it should be a colon. Few relics from the last age still endure in this world. We had one in this very room until last night. Oh wait, the, I'm back again. Explain that you're ready to go. Hold, adventurer. It took skilled and dangerous thieves to steal the artifact. We need to ensure you'll be safe out there. See our training officer on the way out. Okay. A keen eye will notice that thieves repeat themselves. So basically, I go into a place. The wheel ever turns. Eat something. <laughs> speak to someone. Eat something. <laughs> then leave and eat something. <laughs> Seems like a bit of a waste of food. <laughs> so I suppose it is apples. So maybe he's just literally surviving on apples in this game. <laughs> Whatever. This seems like an easy way for the game to waste a bunch of food. It's a good thing I selected food too, because I only started with 10. And that was after selecting one to give me 5. So I don't know if you have to find it, or if it just immediately gives it to you right off the bat. I think it immedi immediately gave it to me right off the bat. So that means if I didn't select the food, I would have only started with 5 instead of with 10. You're greeted by Captain Estrella Fiore. I think that's supposed to be Fiore. There's no accent over the E, so I'm not sure. I don't like using accents either, but it's helpful. I just don't even know what the fuck all the accents do. I don't remember. I was taught it in middle school. I just don't fucking remember that. Thieves are cowards at heart. They will dodge your heaviest attacks just as they dodge their civic duty. A swift blade is best to defeat them. Here, try these out. Dual weapons are effective against enemy or fast enemies like thieves, but are weak against armored enemies like Empire. There should be commas in that. Uh, so there should be a comma after fast enemies, a comma after thieves, then a comma after armored enemies. I never understood the duel. If you're okay, so it stuns thieves, four and six strikes not, that causes lie. stun to thieves. Stun enemies take 150% damage when hit. Riposé against thieves. Riposé deals 150% damage. Light. Hit increase, or hits, not hit. Hits increase during a combo. Riposé to stun, or that's in your sentence, dumbass. I read that wrong. Uh, so hits increase dur er, yeah, hits increase during a combo. Riposé to stun enemy counterattacks weak against enemies with high defense. Okay. What the shit? Still, you find yourself hunting relics. Do you not wonder why or what they may do? What the shit? That's a lot of cards. <laughs> um, that's interesting. There wasn't anything like that on the first game. Holy shit. Like, they would always have these trails with branching paths on the first game and everything else leading up to this point. Even though this one, and I think the first game as well, you would go from area to area after going through those paths and finding the exit. That's, that's interesting. Your quest takes you far away from the city. Vast wildlands stretch out before you. Wild lands. I keep misreading shit for some reason. Your companion reminds you of the Emperor's mission. One relic was stolen by brazen thieves. Another is in the clutches of a shady merchant. That shouldn't be a, a new sentence there. It should be a comma. After our brazen thieves. One is enshrined. One is enshrined in a small village in the east. As for the last, or as for the last, Malik flips shrugs. Who knows? Yeah, 
Yeah, it would just be a really long sentence with a few commas. There's, there's um, a little problem people teach in schools where it's like, oh, you don't want to have run-on sentences, so you got to make sure these sentences are nice and short. So that's probably what they're doing here. It's like, okay, one relic was stolen by brazen thieves. It's like, okay, that's that's one sentence, but it, 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 the next follow-up there should actually be added with a comma. Uh, because then if you if you remove that first sentence and it's like another what exactly because there's there's additional information you could make the argument that it's in the same paragraph so you have the context of what you're talking about but at the same time that that's technically all related to a single sentence not not a uh, uh, multiple sentences within a single paragraph and the way people speak in real life uh, we don't speak in these quick little short uh, 10 word or less sentences. We we have a lot of commas, colons, semicolons and stuff in our speech as we speak. And uh, long ass sentences are actually a natural thing, even though you're taught in school that you don't want to have long ass sentences. So, yeah, that would technically all be just a really long ass sentence because it's um it's just one of those rare ones really yeah english is stupid it's complicated it's stupid but yeah shouldn't be a bunch of short little punchy sentences like that anyways uh find the four relics deliver them to the empire safely Okay. What the shit? Those all move. Those all go straight ahead. A moment of peace. The open wilds. The wilds are welcoming. Sacred. The bounty plentiful. Delightful aroma leads you to a troop of hearty morels. Some mushrooms. I wouldn't know what the hell a morel was if I didn't play Stardew Valley. Use them to pre yeah, prepare a nourishing meal. And ten max life, neat. Fire Burning building. You hear shouting so up ahead as you make your purity. way down the cobbled street. Wheel. You see Plenty lights flickering on the road in front power. of you. As you approach, you see a building. Should be a comma after approach. After, as you approach, you see a building. Flames and smoke billing out. That not billing, billowing out of its upper room windows. A crowd is formed outside, passing buckets of water between one another to temper the blaze. As you push your way through the crowd, you see a woman frantically pleading to the villagers. Please help. My family is in there. Anyone, please help. I'm not doing weird voices today. I gotta try and keep calm and stuff and try and stay quiet because people think they're still asleep right now or they're just being quiet still. I'm not sure, because they're on summer break now. My mom works at a school, so when schools are out, she's got no work. So she's also able to sleep in longer. And doing weird voices might make me get a little out of control or hurt my neck a little bit too much. Because I do weird shit when I do weird or stuff with my voice. So anyways, as you push your way through the crowd, you see a woman frantically pleading to the- Oh, I already read that, duh. Please help, brave the fire. Let Malaclips attempt the rescue. Oh, 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 you make up that must be how you uh, lose your follower. Focus. So brave the fire yourself. I'm not oh, shit. A vain man. You oh yeah, and the stop time on this game. is random. This game. Has been my focus for more years what do I aim I for? Count. I need... I, have a I don't need the fail. I don't need the huge fail. I don't need that. I think I have to everything else. So, good thing. Probably there? There we go. I think... That's the only success card. Well, I mean, there's three success cards, but I think that's... uh. No, oh, don't no, continue. That should yeah. 
through the haze of smoke you find I think there's more than two on this right didn't I get to the third and fail the third last time through the haze of smoke you find the woman's youngest daughter crying under a bed you coax her out scoop her up and carry her out of the blaze villager rushes to your aid thank you brave adventure yeah thank you there should be a comma after thank you brave adventurer I can take it from here but be warned there should be a comma after but but be warned if the building is not safe it will soon collapse gain to fame return to the building crap Did I get it? Damn it. Ah, redraw. Can't use him for three turns. Oh, come on. Perhaps you should have I should have hit a uh, one card sooner than I did. With sudden crack, the beam above you gives way, injuring you and blocking your path. Returns to stuff. Uh, return. Okay, so what I need to aim for. If it's a three, I think it's random. I, it would be nice if it was not random. Slow down. Because then I could easily get these. What? I went over four freaking cards. That's dumb. You turn. Oh, there's only one success now? That's dumb. Oh, hey, I got it. Slumped in the corner of the room, you find the woman's husband. Put his arm over your shoulder and quickly make your way out of the inferno. As you exit the building, it collapses behind you. While you are unable to save everyone, the villagers are grateful for your vigilant, er, not vigilant, valiant effort. And you don't get the damn thing because you have to not fail a single damn time, which sucks. Get in attention. Treacherous wilds. Not every inch of the wilderness. Wilds are sometimes treacherous and harmful. While traversing a dangerous cliff face, you slip and lose your footing. Though relatively unharmed, you cannot, or the same cannot be said for the pack of travelers rations that broke your fall. Oh, come on. That's just stupid camp. Those who are desperate can never hope to get the best possible price. Gonna buy food. Cause I'm out. I only get that costs six. I only have five gold. All the equipment. Do I have anything to send? No, I only have the blades. Finish. Great camp. Inventory. Is that the only weapon I have? I think it is. No, it's not the only weapon I have. I use Villager's Axe. Cut through its blades. Yeah, fuck it. I'll stick with the blades. Again? Your supplies are running low. Collect some juicy wild berries from a thorn-covered thicket. The realization they are poisonous arrives far too late. Really? The longest winter solstice. Okay. The symbol of the deepest On the longest night of winter, the townsfolk of Steagle. I think that's Steagle. Not sure. Words with I and E together are stupid. It's either Stiegel or Steigel or Stegel or whatever. Something. 
I'll just say Steel. Steel set up around a huge bonfire to celebrate the victory of light over darkness. And one night, the Emperor, or not Emperor, Empire turns a blind eye to the outlawed use of magic. He joined a group of peasants close to the fire. Taking a sip, the woman beside you offers you a goblet. You politely accept the pungent potion and take a quick swig. Warmth rushes through your body and you fall into a deep hypnotic, hypnotic trance as you stare into the dancing flames. Okay. You wake to find yourself in a stable nestled... Uh, or, yeah, stay up the... I was thinking stable isn't like you are stable, not a stable. There's a difference there, even though the same spelling. I gotta reread that because I fucked up in my brain. Uh, you wake to find yourself in a stable nestled among a herd of cows. On your way out, you spot a few unconscious empire guards huddled together outside the stable. No blessing cards found in the inventory. Oh, I gotta have a blessing in order to get that done. That sucks. There is little I can say. Temple relic. Stop an adventure of pilfering ancient artifacts. Village of Durnich, or Durnick, not sure, is unremarkable, save for a tiny, near-forgotten shrine. Here, you find... I'm just going to stop pointing out commas and stuff needed. Yeah, I keep saying that on every stream, i got to stop pointing it out, but I just I need to stop pointing it out because there's a lot, and I waste a lot of time mentioning them. Here, you find another relic, resting on a dusty altar. An old woman greets you. I see you are interested in our relic. Local legends tell of a time when a great hero will come to claim it. Until then, it remains here under our watch. Claim that you are the hero. Take the relic by force. Leave. I'm hero. Woman scoffs. You are not the hero we were promised. Though I do sense greatness within you, a spark of nobility, return to us when your soul burns brightly. Rise 15 fame. That's dumb. Leave. The jerk. Again? Uh, wild, sir. Sometimes treacherous and harmful. You pluck juicy wild. Ah, oh, damn it. Poison again. 13 that time? Crap. The fuck? You are starving now. Every fresh encounter will cause you damage. Tread carefully. <sighs> Light weapons are weakest against empire armor. You can change. Oh, hey. Change before the fight. Interesting. Neat. There we go. The wilds are home to rebel are too many a rebel, criminal, and beast. Alrighty. Use a heavy weapon on him. Gotta remember the color isn't the same color as the button color. When I showed that during whatever stream it was, I don't remember what that was the last one, the one before that. I'm no happier to be here than you I forgot that I had the uh, thing on screen. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I don't know the damn controls. Damn it. Okay. Green is Y. The fuck is that? Is it. Well, whoops. Red is dodge. So red is A. I don't remember how to use that special attack. Come on. I'm so dead. Because I don't remember the controls. Maybe that is right bumper. 
when the weapon glows. I know it's got a special attack. I just don't remember how to use it. The battle resolved. You scavenge what you can find from the remains. Gain four fame. How much fame do I have? Pious robes or extinguisher? That gives five armor. It's got a thing. Let's select this. What does it do? Confuse Bash. Charge Bash causes Confuse to a single target when activated. It excludes elite enemies and shadows. Basic Bash causes a brief stun. Resist Corrupted. Corrupted inflict 25 less damage, or 25% less, whatever. Don't starve. Use one max life instead of taking starvation damage. Something reduced my max health. I don't remember if it was starvation or what. Yeah, what's the ring do? Fire resistance. 40% less damage. Fire. That's it. That's dumb. Take the robes. And I'll use them. Think about what has been lost simply to grant you comfort. Okay, I got food. Nice. I'm wrestling. Don't feel like reading it. Back to the bones. I hope you have learned to be the master. I need twelve. I only got six. Reroll these two. Chat. Got eleven. That's dumb. I still got money, so that's nice. And one food restores five life. Trade by food. No, never mind. Sell equipment. Never mind. Finish. Break camp. Even dangerous wilds. Steal within. <sighs> Another fight. I'm gonna die in this one, I think, because I just don't freaking remember the damn controls. That's what happens when I don't play for three weeks. Uh -huh. Oh, this jackass has a gun. Ow. Oh. Showed me as RT. Okay, good. That avoided damage for me. Ow. Press it in time. Insta kill. Oh, good. Avoided damage because, ow, then I got hit. So I, was like, yeah, I wasn't expecting him to hit as soon as I got done with the kill animation. Okay, I'm at 18 fame. With the battle resolved, you scavenge. Okay. okay what does this do? We can block. Bash stun duration increased by plus 20% against empire enemies in block or when their armor is completely destroyed. Okay. Map reveal. After every encounter with a gambit, reveal one. Or. With a gambit, reveal one random encounter card on this level. Helm. Only one helm can be equipped at a time. And it gives defense. And for the shard, bash 50 enemies as they block to unlock this shard. Okay. Uh, 
That stupid thing keeps fucking moving. It's pissing me off. I guess Craig just got up or something. Now I'm gonna get spammed with a bunch of emails from Twitter. welcoming their bounty plentiful. You feel soothed and reinvigorated by your exploration. Is that it? Just yield a little? Wealth cartographer, okay. We have many lands to discover, you and I. Traveling cartographer in the process of making the first full I map of the empire, which is to pay you gold for information on areas you have seen in your recent travels. I need not know every stream or stone that lies from here to the capital. I'm sure whatever knowledge you can provide will be worth, or will be of some worth. Eleven revealed encounters. Except 22 gold. So I guess it gives you money for every card. So there's 22. I guess it gives two gold per card revealed. How much would I be missing out on? Twelve. Fifteen. Sixteen cards. Be thirty-two gold. That's if every single card was revealed. But it would cost food to get back over here, so I'm just gonna accept. Cartographer listens intently as you relate what you can remember of the neighboring areas. Okay. He is thoroughly impressed with the knowledge he has gained from your travels. A reward well earned. Damn it, Craig. He was gonna get spammed with a bunch of emails. Twitter does some retarded thing with the email notifications. So when you get a message, it gives an email for every single message they send. So if they send something, it'll give an email for it. Even if just like five seconds later, they send another message. Then another five seconds later, they send another message. It gives for every one of them. So whenever he responds on Twitter, I get a shitload of emails about it. A uh, sweating trader comes jogging in from the darkening wilds to join the campfire. Thank God you're here. I don't know how to start a fire. It's my first time traveling to the capital. Okay. Read. Really? Never mind. Finish. Um, I guess break camp because the food's not restored. Temple Relic. Claim to hear that, that you're the hero. The woman examines you for a moment before falling into her knees in prayer. You've arrived just as foretold, our savior. Drax Ring, what the hell? Cursed. The new wielder of this item will gain a curse. <laughs> Bound. This card cannot be discarded. Well. Oh, come on. Oops. I accidentally just switched scene left. I need to switch back to scene middle. Life tax. Lose gold whenever you receive life. That's just stupid. Okay. Relic's cursed. Malaclips explain or exclaims, not explains. Who would want to steal such a thing in the first place? I don't want to equip that one. It's so dumb. Wild is sometimes treacherous and harmful. 
supplies are exhausted. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Food, you will surely perish. Oh, cool. I have little sense Fifty sales then. By the relic. Merchants. Kind of traveling salesman wandering negotiated better price. Wait around for their customers to test their wares. Make your best offer. If you win, the price will reduce by the total of the dice. If you lose, he may refuse to sell the relic to you. Whatever, it was a stolen relic, so I'll just threaten him. Nine. Well okay. done. You continue to impress. Negotiate a better price. Haggle. Usually fail when it's 12. Let's, um. Just select this one. Set 10 right now, so I only need. Well, I guess I should select both. There we go, 14. I've only ever seen this much coin in my dreams. It's 17, really? <laughs> I mean, what the hell? A single piece of food costs six. Merchant seems pleased with the sale. New wheel will gain a curse. Bad wager. Lose one gold each time you are hit in combat. Oh, come on. Uh, cursed relic, Malclips exclaims. This was not part of our deal with the Empire. Let's go down here. And go over. Open wilds. Okay, mushrooms. Ten health loses two gold, really? Wait, what? Okay. Forgot about that little thing. What's it do again? Effect. Map reveal. Okay, so every gambit. I guess there's a gambit on this. Oops, that's... The wrong thing. Foo has not been restored. Meant to map. Open wilds. Okay, so that's the gambit thing. So the random chance cards. Dangerous wilds. So this should be one. Pro maybe not. I don't know. I guess it's dangerous wilds. One-handed weapons are recommended against Northerners. With light, light, one-handed. Hopefully I actually get some decent stuff from this fight and don't get hit like crazy. An arrow in my shield. That's funny. By sea and sun, fate and fain. Uh. Oh, duh. Oops. Forgot to dodge. Get rid of these two first. Whoops. Damn it. One's down. Next one down. There we go. Now his armor's broken. LT. Insta kill. That wasn't too bad. I was thinking you had to bash them, then attack. But apparently I just had to break the armor first, so I had to spam the thing. The battle resolve, you scavenge, so lose three gold, gain four fame. 
long shot. What the hell? What's that? Precise dice. Score the exact target value in a dice gambit to draw two equipment cards, then discard this card. Okay. So basically, insta win something, then discard it. Maybe? Any number of blessings can be equipped at one time. Transient blessings are just oh, okay. That's just a blessing. Oh damn. Okay, so dangerous wilds is on the left. Open wilds above. Treacherous wilds next to that. Elder's gift is also up to the left. So let's go to this one. Man, let's see if food has been restored yet. Son of a bitch. Whatever, just buy one. I don't think it's going to restore until it's completely empty. Finish. And... Go to this. Let's see what it does. Raiders have destroyed our village, the Elder explains in a hushed if voice. If you can force them from your deck and into your hands, you can begin to exploit their power. Let's reread that because I forgot not to speak when he is speaking. Raiders have destroyed our village, the Elder explains in a hushed voice. They were searching for this. He draws a weapon from the, his cloak and hands it to you. Diller draws a platinum equipment card. Oh. A mighty cool. weapon. For a mightier warrior than you, I think. Yeah, let's equip it. The Elder's eyes widen as the weapon gives off faint glow as it rests in your hands. You are indeed worthy of this gift, he continues. May this weapon bring you better fortunes than it did our people, and may their sacrifice be your gain. Innate fame. Okay, at 32 so far. Uh, let me check the map again. It's treacherous Wilds on the left, so I don't really want to go to Treacherous Wilds or Dangerous Wilds. Uh, so I could go to the one right next to me, or I could go to the ones above. I think I'm going to go to the ones on the left first. And I'll get to the top left corner by going over the fishing. Since after I go onto a card I've already been to, I can... Go on to any card without losing health or food. A grand Temple prayers. For you to take whatever pleases you okay. Go about your day. Make a donation. Uh, inspect. What's this do? First, the first hit in combat against thieves deals fifty bonus damage. Go back. Monk's Vitality. I guess I should leave that disabled for a minute. If your max health is less than five or 150, not 500, is less than 150, you may discard food gain or equipment gain cards to receive plus five max health. No. Gold Zealot. Receive plus 15 life for every gold gain card you receive. Uh... What's this do? Receive plus two food after every dice gambit. This. Gain up 20 gold at the beginning of a new map if you have less than 20 gold. So the most you could get is up to 39 from that. So less than 20 gold. You have 19. Oh wait, does it say up to? Oh, never mind. You can't get thirty gold or thirty-nine gold. I'm guessing it'll subtract until you're at twenty. So if you're at nineteen, you'll only get one. If you're at five, you'll get fifteen. Probably how it handles it. Give me a sec here.
I just had to take a little ibuprofen. Okay, so let's do... It's either one of these I want. Let's check this again. Plus 15 life for every gold gain, or... Plus two food after every dice gambit. Let's do the, uh... Plus two food. The dice gambit. Okay. Then let's go down. Malaclipse's problem. Okay. You arrive at the city markets to meet with Malaclipse's associate. You find him sitting on a blanket by the sewer gates. You can't tell whether he's a goblin, a human, or an animate pile of greasy rags. A few wilted daisies and duckweed tied with a rope are flopped on the ground around him. Merc, Malaclips calls to the creature. Arms outstretched. I have a favor to ask of you, my handsome friend. The greasy goblin man raises a hand to stop the bard's prattle. Ten gold first, you know that. Okay, give the goblin man ten gold. Now I'm at eight left. Malaclips steps forward as Merc counts the coins. Merc Old Bean, the bard, looks fervently, or er, furtively, not fervently, jeez, furtively around before quickly raving, waving, not raving. <laughs> raving would be a lot different than waving. <laughs> waving at his shoulder. I require help in removing a certain illness. Merc considers Malaclips for a while. That kind of information costs more than a few coins. You splutter indignantly. I'll require a test of skill from him. He turns and points at you. Eat a daisy, forget me not. The forget me not thing kind of reminds me of um, Arrested Development. Pick a flower and eat it. The greasy florist displays his meager wares. Let's see what happens this time. Okay. We roll this one. Oh, wow. That works. I finally got that damn thing done. Thanks to that one card. Merc watches eagerly as you begin to cho- At least I think it was that one card. I don't know. As you begin to choke, Malaclips, for his part, shows some sign of concern. Your eyes bulge in water. Suddenly, someone begins slapping you on your, or slapping you hard in the back. You cough, and a hard lump falls from your mouth. It's a solid gold statue of Merc. Okay, just got twenty-five gold. Nice. Malaclips cheers while you catch your breath. Merc nods, happy with the results. He beckons Malaclips closer. Of those of us left, you should seek Ira of the Vale. She may know something of the cure. Last I heard, she's hiding out in the underneath. Let us discover what the next chapter in our dear Bard's tale will be. Oh no, not her. Malaclips straightens his neck, shawl nervously. The greasy goblin man, or not greasy, greasy goblin man giggles maniacally. Yes, her. She'll likely eat your bones before she lets you speak. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have business to, or have a business to run. With that, Malclips's associate turns away and hurls a bouquet at a shocked passerby. Flowers, fresh flowers, buy them or I'll eat your eyes. What? Okay. And open wilds. I guess there's a good spot to go to up there. Go to the left. Uh, then again. No, because once I get that, it'll probably be the end of this map. So I need to not get that yet. Not oh, damn, it's treacherous wilds. Lose one equipment. Come on. That's the only one I got. That's dumb. 
And this one's the fish. While strolling the docks of Iron Peak, a tattooed woman calls to you from a small fishing slope or sloop. As she shakes her hand, she introduces herself as Rana Ishmael, captain of the SS Remarkable. <laughs> really? You look strong of arm and sure of aim. Have you considered a career in the fast-paced world of deep-sea harpoon fishing? Ask about harpoon fishing. It might get me food if I do this. Popular pastime among the kinds of folks who need to prove their physical prowess, she says, brandishing a rust-covered harpoon. So I guess she's looking to prove herself. There's a lot more about her than it does about anyone she tries to convince to do the harpoon fishing. I can get you out of the water right or out on the water right now, or for a little extra gold, I know where I can acquire a premium harpoon. It'll help steady your aim. Behind her the sea beckons. Premium harpoon. Okay. Rana pads off down the docks and returns hastily, and the sinews of her arms bulging under the weight of the new harpoon. This will improve your aim, provided you can raise it off the deck. <laughs> Purchase the harpoon. Okay. With your supplies safely stowed, Captain Rana sails, or is it Rana? I don't know. I think it's Rana. Or Rana. Something, whatever. Captain Rana. I'll say that instead in Rana. Captain Rana sails the boat away from the dock and out into the open waters. Pendulum Beam will now move slower in this encounter. Wait, what? As the shoreline disappears, Rana drops anchor. You need me to tell you how this works, or are you ready to throw some harpoons around? Instructions. He puts one arm on his shoulder and points down to the water. We call that the ocean. <laughs> no shit. It's got the fish in it. <laughs> if you throw your harpoon down there, it, er, and it hits one, pull it up. Or, or I'll pull it up for you. You want to be careful on the re or of the reef wall. If your harpoon ends up in there, you might as well kiss it goodbye. God damn it. The deeper you go, the bigger the fish. Though, you can never be too certain what you'll catch. Finally, there's a shipwreck way down there. An old merchant vessel. See that golden glimmer? If you need a target fair and true, I'd aim for that. You get a firm grip on the harpoon and you take aim at the reef below the shit the pendulum swings like a sign okay bearing hope or fear so i just gotta wait a sec then aim for the gold nicely timed okay so that was easier than i thought it was gonna be i thought it was gonna have some animation where it throws something down so i was trying to aim to try and estimate what I would think the throw speed would be so it would pass through those two silver looking ones. With unear er, yeah, unearing or unairing? I don't know, that's weird. I guess it's unairing, as in like no error. Unairing accuracy. Your harpoon plunges deeper into the reef. Aw, oh, damn. Harpoon descends to the lowest. <laughs> God damn it! Some of the I, I have my fridge unplugged because it was making some stupid clicking noises. Because I keep er, kept making a loud ass rattle, so I was bumping the damn thing to make it shut the fuck up. And I guess uh, I moved it around too much, so it's got to stay off for a while because it was making some clicking from it being on. Uh, so the mess, or not the mess, the ice that was built up around the ice box in there. Just some of that just broke off. That's what that sound was. That made me stop talking. I don't think my mic picked that sound up. But some of the ice fell off the ice box. Which is what distracted me. Anyways. The harpoon descends to the lowest reaches of the reef. A merchant vessel's treasure glitters. Tr Not transiently. What the fuck, Sean? <laughs> Tantalizingly on the ocean floor. Okay, this one's going to be annoying. Oh, 
because the Ah oh, fuck. Breathe, you have done well. Rana hauls up your catch onto the deck. Orn Gloom Grouper, what the crap? Orn Gloom Grouper tumbles into the bottom of the boat, gasping. Or tumbles into the bottom of the boat, gasping, whatever. As Rana clubs it over the head, she laughs. Amazing catch, you'll eat well off this one. I think I gotta get the gold every time in order to get the token. The sun hangs low on the horizon. Rana raises the anchor and says, Time to return to the docks and to distribute the sea's bounty. Armed northerners await you on the docks. A burly warrior seeking a reeking of fish and salt water points to Rana. Accuse. I've never seen that word before. Accusation. Accusatorially? I know what it's trying to say is uh, accusation type word. I've just never seen or heard that word ever said before, so accusate. <sighs> accusate. Yeah. Accusate. I can't speak. Accusatorily. Pretty sure it's accusatorily. I don't like that word, it's retarded. Accusatorily. Accusing her of stuff. Accusations. God damn it. There she is. The one who stole my father's whaling harpoon. God damn it. Figures. Let's teach her what we do to pirates around these parts. You draw your weapon and prepare to face your attackers. So she stole something and sold it to me or she stole something for herself and got me a different one. I'm pretty sure she sold me a stolen one. My dude looks fucking weird. With the weird ass helmet. Oops. Oh wow, he missed. Apparently that guy can't oh wait, it's the right trigger. Yeah. Left trigger. That was nice. Special attack lead to instant kill. I only got hit once that time, unless the shield just wore off. Neat. Nice work protecting the cargo, says Rana as she pulls one of the northerners off the pier. Rena cleans your catch. That's a very successful haul. Only five food for that? No, there's another five. Or, no, that wasn't five, was it? I don't... No, it was three. I don't know why I thought it said five. That was dumb. Rana gives you a casual salute, a bucket of chum dangling from her arm. If you ever want to go out on the water again, you know where to find me. Yeah, I thought so. You gotta get gold every time. Market Thief is revealed. We check this corner first. Damn it. Another fight. Hopefully it gets me some gear. Something useful. I think this weapon has armor break, so I shouldn't have to kick to break that big guy, right? Oh, maybe it doesn't. So I'll use this then. Oh, hey. Healthy. He's to dead. Neat. That wasn't too bad. Okay, I got one gold and four fame. And equipment. Like a compass, it indicates the truth of Okay, so what does the eight blades do? 
Fires magical blades in eight directions when activated. Blades cause 20 damage or 40 damage to corrupted. Okay, it's got armor breaker, so the bash attack. And it's one handed. Okay, I can get a shard if you activate the weapon ability 10 times. It's got 18 damage. What I'm using is 26 damage and requires 20 fame. Got over 20 fame, so I'm not worried about that. So I think we're gonna. I mean, I guess that does give a shard, so I guess I'll equip it. And that's the watchtower. Okay, so I'll go over to the market thief, open wilds, then the watchtower before going to the one silver thing moving around. Okay, I'm not reading this because I've already had this done before. I need to find the huge success. Please be this. Son of a bitch. gold and watchtower on the edge of the empire far from the capital so it's a lonely watchtower tower not tower you approach with caution knowing that few travelers are allowed near halt calls a soldier as you approach the tower none may cross the border from northern lands into the empire offer them gold try to sneak past the tower go the long way around Soldiers are desperate for only a few coins. They will invite you to climb the tower and survey the countryside before crossing the border. Give them some gold. Hand over some coins to climb the tower. You look east and west. Turn and gaze to the north and south. You continue your journey. Okay. I guess that's not how you get the shard. One more relic is within your grasp. Stone relic. Who hired these? Though their movements are erratic, you eventually the track question. the thieves back down or back to their camp. Yeah, I don't have any light. Oh wait, yeah, I think I have one light weapon. Uh it's one handed, heavy, one handed, heavy, light. Okay. Okay, anyways, uh, though their movements are erratic, you eventually track the thieves back to their camp. You catch them frantically loading the relic onto a horse and cart. Just hold him off for a couple of minutes while we ready the horses. Okay, so I'm just gonna fight. Damn. It was a double attack. Shit. Damn it. Oh, fuck you, jerk hole. I'm doing here. Wait, what? I didn't know there was a time limit.
Okay, they're almost done. Okay. Got it this time. There we go. I guess I should have headed over and brought him back up. He should be fine after the fight, I'm thinking. Okay, after clearing out the thieves' camp, you quickly locate the relic. Lose two gold, you cover the relic, and gain four fame. Okay, there's a curse. Weapon ability cannot be activated in combat. Discard this card the next time you gain max health. That's a dumb curse. Another cursed, or a cursed relic, whatever. Malaclips grumbles. I swear, if before Malaclips can finish, the relics start to vibrate and hum, then glow with an eerie, unnatural light. Mage's Tower. I is drawn to a similar glow emanating in response from a distant tower. You think they're trying to tell us something? Malaclips smirks. Let's get moving. First, let's do camp. Raid. Really? Finish. That's dumb. Break. And now you must begin to ask yourself okay. how these threats connect. Relics lead you to a mysterious you tower. You will need empire, to ascend it to, to, to reach the mage at its summit. A storm swells ominously overhead. Enter the tower. Damn. I hate this spin crap. Oh, come on. Oh, we draw. As I climb the tower stairs, a voice calls down from above. Do you even know why you're here? How much did they tell you when they ordered you out into the wilds? When they sent you out here like a dog after a bone? You continue to wind your way up the tower. Fewer cards. Again. Relics burn brightly, searing your hands. I see you have saved some of the relics. Do you believe you are the one to harness their power? The voice asks in an amused tone. Oh, come on. It went all the fucking way around. That pisses me off. Finally reached the top of the tower. You've been sent here to do the bidding of the true enemy. These relics can be used to defeat him, but here you are looking to return... Wait, what? Okay, but here you are looking to return them to him. Weird. I see you bring the relics, the mage says with a grin. A thief can't be trusted to deliver on a job. But one can always rely on the predictability of the Empire to send their dogs. She holds the remaining relic out, mockingly. I suppose you'll want or you'll be wanting this. Take it, she says calmly, but be warned, its curse will sap your strength and your will to fight, and combat is inevitable, I'm afraid. Or, she continues, you can let me keep it, but should you best me. It will be lost to you forevermore. Um, whatever, take it. Cause I'm pretty sure I have to.
will gambits rotate in the reverse direction? That's it. The relic is heavier in her hands than you expected, and its presence clouds your thoughts. The mage laughs. Your imperial masters would be most proud. Prepare to meet your fate. And let me swap to this. Struggle to lift your weapon as a group of thieves join the fray. Oh crap, I said thieves. That means they're fast. Son of a bitch. I think we're gonna die because I just swapped to a heavy weapon. This mage wants, or er, this mage went to extraordinary lengths to gather these relics. Mages issue projectiles from a distance, use evade to avoid their attacks. If I attack just the mage, maybe it'll finish the fight without having to worry about the thieves. Crap. That was bullshit. a little bit because that attack. Ow. Ow. Damn it. LT needs to kill. I guess I do still have to kill the thieves. I have to do so without getting hit a single time. Nice to kill. And dodge. Fuck. Shit, that was close. Okay. I got lucky. <laughs> I was able to get hit one time. I thought I was going to die if I got hit one time. That was close. Got an achievement for it, too. Holy shit. Okay. With the relics recovered, you journey back to the Imperial City to claim your reward. You lose five gold. Captain Estrella meets you at the city gates. I'll take you straight to the chief council. She'll be eager to examine what you've brought back. On the walk to the palace, you explain that you've safely recovered all the relics. This may be a rare day when the council will smile, Estrella says. You can see her trying to catch the words as they've come out. My apologies. This is indeed another glorious day for the Empire. Please. <laughs> the chief council looks over the relics you've returned. You've done well. We shall keep these relics safe, lest they fall into less learned hands. Mercenary achievement. Every part of this tale is a part of your history. A part of the reasons that bring you here. Hour 34, huh? Empire Contacts, Palace Armory, Exploring the Wilds, Winding Trail, Deadly Forest, what the shit? That's all... fiery. And shiny. Gambler's Jewel, Lord's Diadem, Billy Clubs, and Mercenary Garb. Brigand's Blades. Exquisite Blade and Man of the World. Okay. Duel. The Underneath. Wild Hunt.
Okay. Endless adventure. Just another endless adventure thing. Goblin favors. Drunken hero. Blood for the beast. I'm not going to be doing an endless adventure. Yeah. Endless adventure in the streams. And I'm actually going to go ahead and stop the stream now just because that map was so long. And I want to make sure I don't overdo it on my neck because streaming, I do seem to do something weird with my neck. My neck has been getting a little bit worse. What the hell? Yeah, it's been getting a little bit worse throughout the stream, so I'm going to go and exit and end the stream. Uh, so anyone who stopped by, I don't think anyone did, but anyone who did, uh, thanks for stopping by and thanks for watching. And anyone who's watching on YouTube, uh, thanks for watching and I'll try and stream next week. But until then, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.